Hi guys, welcome to another Seb Sesh. I'm Seb, head bartender and mixologist at Gym and Tonic. Now, if you're a gin head like me, you're gonna go nuts over the next recipe. Um, working behind the bar for, for so many years, I came to realize that m for most vodka-based cocktails, you can add an extra layer of flavor just by switching the vodka to the appropriate gin. Now with that in mind, let's go ahead and twist a classic Cosmopolitan and we're gonna make a banging good gin Cosmo. So for that, we're gonna need a coupette glass and we're gonna add just a few ice cubes to it and let it pre-chill on the side. And we're gonna get our shaker ready. Um, I'm gonna start it off with a bit of a fruity note. So I'm gonna add two fresh raspberries and we're just gonna gently model them in. Next, I will be juicing 20 ml of uh, fresh lime juice. So 20 ml fresh lime goes in. Next, we're gonna add a bit of balance to that and we're gonna sweeten it with 20 ml of triple sec. Can't be a cosmopolitan without a bit of uh, cranberry juice. So fresh cranberry juice, we're gonna go for 35 ml. And for the star of the show. So I paired this with our lovely ruby, uh, rhubarb and organic honey gin, just because the, the flavor profile of this gin, it's bitter, it's sweet, uh, on the fruity side. So basically, the bittersweet uh, rhubarb is gonna marry up perfectly with the tart uh, flavor of the cranberry. So I went for 40 ml of rhubarb gin, and now we're ready to ice it up and give it a firm shake. So our glass is nice and chilled now. I'm gonna go ahead and discard the ice. And using a julep strainer, but also a fine strainer, we're gonna double strain everything into our pre-chilled coupette. Look at the lovely vibrant color on that. All right. Now, as a garnish, I'm gonna go for fresh raspberry, which we already have there inside the mix. So I'm just gonna attach that on the rim. And I'm gonna push it just a bit further and stick a mint spring in there. We wanna impress the nose as well. And since we're on that chapter, we can go ahead and, uh, and go classic on it. So the classic garnish for the Cosmopolitan is usually a flame zest. And we're gonna go ahead and flame a bit of the orange zest here just to create an extra, extra layer of citrus. All the oils on the top to impress the nose. Also on the rim of the glass. So that way, when you hold the glass, smell all the lovely orange. So there we have it, guys. A lovely twist on the classic Cosmopolitan called the Gin Cosmo. Cheers.